Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So, it's been a year since we put the conductive ink into my computer system. I can't believe it, it's been a whole year. So, we've been testing it periodically and our last test was around six months ago. And from what we can gather from these videos, we have been getting a gradual improvement of the conductive ink over time. And obviously there's a few theories to why it's gradually improving, but to be honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> One year on, we're going to test it again, so we're going to try and keep everything exactly the same. We're going to start off with our Prime95 test, which is a really intense CPU stress test. Then we're going to go over to our 3D Mark, which also tests the CPU. And then we're going to go over to our game test. So we're going to test Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Then we're going to try Rocket League keeping an eye on the temperatures of course, and then for our final test we're going to do a video render at 1080p 60fps and then what we're going to do is just cross reference all of the temperatures and see if there's been an improvement or not an improvement I guess. <laughs> so I guess the first thing we should do is go down to the computer and boot up Prime95. Okay, so now we're on the computer, our first test is Prime95, and six months ago, we ran this for around 15 to 20 minutes, and I made sure to keep all of the same settings. So what we're going to do is just click OK, get that stress test started, and I'll be back with you in 15 to 20. And there we go, that's our Prime95 test completed. So that was running for around 15 to 20 minutes and we saw an absolute peak temperature of 78 degrees Celsius. If we compare that against six months ago, we got 82 degrees Celsius. So that means today there was a four degrees Celsius difference, which I think is really cool. But we have to take into account ambient temperatures and we'll talk about that a little bit more towards the end of the video. But now it's time to test our 3D mark. So let's do it. Okay, with our Prime95 test done, it's now time to test our 3D Mark. We're going to keep everything exactly the same, so we're going to be running this Night Raid. So, I don't actually have to have Specky open in the background to keep an eye on the temperatures, because 3D Mark will do that for me, and that way I'm actually not having extra applications running in the background, which I think is kind of cool. So, let's run this. And there we go, with our 3D Mark test now done, we can come down to this section right here and it gives us a detailed monitoring of the temperature of the CPU throughout the entire test. And if we take a look through, we saw a peak temperature of around 54.92 degrees Celsius. So we can just double check that by coming through and seeing if there was a higher temperature, but I did already double check this. So. If we compare that against the last result that we got six months ago, we got an average temperature, well, sorry, a peak temperature of 72 degrees six months ago. And if we compare that against the 54 degrees that we got today, there's actually a big difference. So we'll actually talk about that towards the end of the video, but for now, it's time to go on to our next test. So we're actually going to be playing a little bit of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Okie dokie, so welcome to our Counter-Strike test. So what I've done is I've kept the settings the exact same as usual, just like before. But I did try to set up a proper nice way of keeping an eye on this CPU temperature using MSI Afterburner. But for some reason it wouldn't work, so I've set it up like this. All I've got to do is click Alt and Tab. Oh, wrong one, sorry. <laughs> and that will bring up Specky right there, so we can actually keep an eye on all of our temperatures whilst we're playing this game. And I think I'm only going to be running this for around 10 to 15 minutes on a nice retake server, so there's a lot of ragdoll physics, etc, etc. So, let's crack on with it. There we go, so I've been playing this for around the last 10 minutes, and I have to admit something. Trying to play on this massive screen, it just feels really weird, but that's not the thing that we're here to do. We're here to take a look at the temperature whilst it's under load. So, we saw a peak temperature of around 47 degrees, which I don't think is too bad at all. So let me quickly write this down, and then again, as we get towards the end of the video, we can cross-reference these. So... Well, I might as well play this last round, and then we'll go into our second test. 
And there we go, so for our second game test we're going to be using Rocket League and I've made sure to keep all of the settings the exact same as before and I'm pretty sure you're going to get pretty sick of me saying that. So, I think what I'm going to do is just jump into a regular free versus free like I did before and we can keep an eye on the temperatures the same way as we did on the Counter-Strike test. So that means I have to just alt tab into Specky, and I can keep everything open nicely without Rocket League becoming a background application. So, let's crack on. And there we go, that's a solid 3 vs 3 5 minute game and we saw a peak temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Which again is another improvement, but... We have to do one last test, and that is the video render test. So let's do it, and then we'll talk about the temperatures afterwards. Okay, so for our very next test, what we're going to be doing is our video render. So I've got a nice five minute clip right here, and I'm going to keep it at the exact same settings as it was last time. So it's going to be rendered in 1080p at 60fps, and the quality is going to be high. On the right side of the screen, I've got my specy open so we can keep an eye on the graph of temperature and we can record it very easily. So if I come over here, click render, we'll call this render test. Oh. Come down to the video profile, 1080p at 60 FPS and the quality needs to be on high. So I'm just going to export that and I'll catch up with you once it's done. And there you go, with that video render now being completed, we saw a peak temperature of 53 degrees Celsius. I don't think that's too bad considering this exactly, this, sorry, the exact same test that I did six months ago, we saw a peak temperature of 73 degrees Celsius, which means there's been a huge decrease in temperature. Okay, with that video rendering test now being completed, it's time to actually go take a look at our results. So let's do it. And there we go, with all of them tests now done, I made sure to record all of my data. But before we actually start rifling through all of that, there was one thing that I forgot to mention, and that is ambient temperatures. And unfortunately, six months ago, I never stated the ambient temperature, which is a little bit annoying, but I did have to go out and look up what the temperature was on that day, which was the 30th of July, and the temperature was 14 degrees Celsius. So we're actually gonna go off that figure and there will be a slight margin of error for sure, but we're just trying to get the ballpark figures. So now we've gone through that, let's actually go through the data. Okay, so as I've already got the temperature difference stuff already worked out, what I'm going to do is chuck it up on the screen as I'm talking about it, quickly run through it, and then I'll talk about my thoughts afterwards. So here it is up on the screen now. So as you can see, with our Pro 95 test, we saw a two degrees Celsius difference. With our 3D Mark test, we saw a difference of around 16.5 degrees Celsius. With Counter-Strike Global Offensive, we see a 19 degrees Celsius difference. With Rocket League, we saw a 12.5 degrees Celsius difference. And with the video render test, we saw a 17.5 degree temperature difference. It's a bit of a shame about that summer result for sure, but in today's test, this has performed absolutely amazingly. And I was gonna do an autopsy and take it out, but because it has performed so well, I've decided to leave it in, why not? So, with that being said, that does actually bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, suggestions, answers, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later.